With that, I am lucky enough to welcome one of our partners that makes some of these dreams possible. Alice Lynn Fabiano, the Director of, Co of Global Community Impact in Johnson & Johnson, is coming to join us tonight. And I think that what we, when we talk about partners and we talk about the resources, the things that we need in terms of building our enterprises or building our dreams, we have to remember that without those willing to see the vision to scale those great ideas that are going to eventually save lives, that big thinking is needed on all sorts of levels. And these days it's coming from lots of different sources, but we are so thankful that it also comes from the private sector. And the private sector is a big part of this solution. So thank you so much, Alice. We're welcome, thank you to have you. I think you're over here. But we're welcome to have you and um, thank you. Thanks. Hello, good evening. My name is Alice, I'm from Johnson & Johnson, and we're so thankful to be here today and to be partners with the Global Good Fund. It's been such a rewarding experience. I wanted to just take a moment and acknowledge this night, acknowledge the amazing people who are all gathered in the room together during a period of time of urgency within our country and within the world. It's just amazing to see the potential in this room across generations, across the globe, and it makes me really excited about the future. I also wanted to just take a moment to appreciate Carrie and the small but mighty team that put together this event in the last three days. So thank you for that. And for me, a personal moment as well, my son turns one years old this Saturday, and it's a big milestone. <laughs> and from uh, a new mother to an expectant mother, Carrie, we wish you a wonderful, wonderful journey. It's gonna be an amazing ride ahead. I'm so excited today to be able to welcome the 2017 Johnson & Johnson Global Health Fellows today. We had an afternoon to spend with these three amazing entrepreneurs, three amazing women entrepreneurs, which we're glad to see from around the world. And with that, please come on stage and share your stories. Hello? Okay, it's on. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brittany Dejan. My dad was paralyzed in a car accident when I was 12 years old. We were very lucky to have resources that allowed my family to adapt, and my dad lives a completely independent life, only moving his arms. There are countless resources to support and educate uh, families with disabilities, but how would you know where to find them? Recommendation engines online tell us what to watch on Netflix, what to buy on Amazon, but families like mine are left to navigate everything on our own. And that's why we need Able Thrive, a one-stop platform of life-changing articles, videos, products, and services uh, curated from a global network of partners uh, to maximize quality of life with a disability. We customize our resources to the needs and interests of our users to ensure that families are no longer responsible to scour thousands of websites on their own to find information. We've reached over 80,000 people in our pilot, and our partner network has grown to over 180 organizations, companies, hospitals, and blogs in 13 countries. Thank you to Johnson & Johnson and the Global Good Fund for this opportunity to enhance my leadership as we aspire to reach and impact the lives of the one billion people in the world with disabilities and their families. It's time to, to revolutionize how we approach disability. And so please join us to ensure that everyone has a chance to thrive. Thank you. Okay. Hello. When I was a little, my mother always uh, celebrated my birthdays in low-income communities in my city, Manizales, in Colombia. And all my presents, all my birthday presents, were for poor children, hundreds of them. I never knew 
that you have to po supposed to keep your presence. So maybe that's why I'm here today. I'm a social entrepreneur because of my family. And my enterprise is OIDOI, a foundation based in Colombia, created nine years ago, full-time job for us, my team and I. I am a co-founder and the CEO of SoyDoy, and we are creating solutions to end malnutrition in our country because 13% of our children under five are suffering chronic malnutrition. They are dying. There are more than almost one, one million children dying now. So I believe in sustainable solutions. We create nutrient entrepreneurship. That is our model. Micro businesses, food micro businesses in low income communities, we help them to create the micro business, to grow micro businesses. They make food, produce food, they sell food, and also give food for children. And with that incomes, they continue to grow their business. They don't need any more donations or government help. We have been working with 37 communities around the country, helping more than 14,000 children now. And our goal today with the Global Good Fund for, uh, Fellowship is to learn how to be a better leader and to grow and continue scale our program in Colombia to share our goal to one million children there. We need your help. Thank you, Johnson & Johnson and Johnson for your help. Thank you, Global Good Fund, for this opportunity. It's awesome for me. I'm from Colombia. Being here, speaking with you, is not possible without your help to be here us sharing our stories. Thank you. Ciao, I'm Francesca. I'm coming from Italy and I'm the proud mom of Mario. So becoming a mother has been a path of great discoveries for me. I discovered many things. First thing that I discovered is that uh, uh, our brain, the most vulnerable stage of our life is when our brain is in our mother's womb. So in 2011, 10 days after Mario's birth, I discovered that he suffered a stroke, a perinatal stroke. Then I started to look for information. I started to uh, find other people that were in my same, in same situation, but I wasn't able to find anyone, so I was hopeless. Uh, I thought that this could be a rare disease, but was not the case. Actually, it is a, a kind of disease that's the leading cause uh, of motor disorders uh, in childhood, uh, and it's impacting more than uh, 17 million of uh, uh, kids uh, all around the world. So I also discovered a good news. I discovered a word, which is the neuroplasticity, so a word that means that uh, uh, children uh, have a native ability to recover by themselves, so to rewire their brain. And this could happen if we are really able uh, to have an early detection of the brain damage. That's why in uh, 2014, I founded uh, fightthestroke.org, a social enterprise uh, advocating for young stroke survivors. So Fight the Stroke today exists uh, in order to uh, inspire new generation and foster the development and the adoption of disruptive technology. Uh, we found a way to have a better recovery of these children, coupling uh, uh, the, the latest learnings in neuroscience together with uh, artificial intelligence uh, algorithm that we are developing, and that's why uh, we came out with a suitable solution that is able to make these kids recover in a faster and in a more effective way. So please uh, 
again, help us on uh, uh, support our mission. I'm just grateful for being here. And uh, uh, thanks to the Global Good Fund. Thanks for the Johnson & Johnson Fellowship, because uh, uh, together we also can create a better future for young stroke survivors. Thank you.